Hi, uh, my name is James and this is Brian and we implemented an LED cube and on the LED cube we uh, implemented a, a little Space Invader game and as you can see over there um, there's like a, a you know three by three sort of a flying object as you would you would say and there are you know enemies flying at you from the other side and uh, the object of the game is to gain enough points to so that the LEDs at the back over there uh, can go around and form the square. So once you form the square, you win the game. But if you, as you can see, we lost some of the portions of the flying object. And if you lose all of those fly, the, the, the portions, then it's game over. And um, that's pretty much how the game works. And uh, yeah. That's very cool. Yeah, that's, yeah. And so now you're back to, so you have nine lives. You have yeah, nine. You can take exactly. nine hits before you're dead. Right, yeah, right. You, you have a main kind of central command where you fire from. If uh -huh. that gets hit mm -hmm. uh, early, then it'll destroy another outer portion until that's the only part left. And once that goes, you're right. done. Yeah. And you, uh, we also have uh, some sort of a defense mode where you can press the B button and it would just you know kind of shrink to one LED and you can just take hits and not lose any of the portions. But can, but can you fire? You can't uh, fire. You can't fire. You just, you, so you're just on hold then? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so yeah. Um, luckily, so one of, one of the things that we were able to do is we were able to get the entirety of the cube to update every uh, 60 times per second, which basically means uh, each layer updates, uh, I guess, well, basically, there's an update every uh, 480 times a second because it goes, it runs through all eight layers once in 60 seconds. Wow, that's yeah. fast. Yeah, we actually we tried different speeds, but um, anything else we tried, there was a little bit of flickering, so we were able to just keep ramping it up until we had a nice smooth, visible spectrum. Very cool. So this game is pretty good because uh, it has. You know, you can actually visualize the game in three dimensions. So, mm -hmm. you know, it uh, it kind of trains the player with you know the spatial awareness and stuff like that. So, and it's a game know. that makes sense in three D. Right, right, right. Yeah. And yeah. you know, it's traditionally played in two D, right? Mm -hmm. But uh, we were able to implement this in three D. So, nice. Uh, it's a pretty good accomplishment. So. Very nice. Thank you. Mm -hmm.